Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's do some fun, happy crafting. Stay tuned. So today we are going to do some more fun, any season, any reason, any gender crafting. Although I'll be using Christmas paper, all you have to do if you want to make this project for any other season or any other reason, simply change the paper. It is that easy to take any project that I'm making and make it into what you need it to be. And here is today's project. It is this super cute greeting card portfolio. And I've made it, like I said, for the Christmas theme, but you can make this for any reason that you want. And I am going to slide off my sweet little belly band. And a lot of you have asked, what is a belly band? A belly band is really just a wrap that you can wrap around your project so that you don't have to use a magnet or Velcro, but it will hold it closed so it slides off and you can see that it's fully closed. And that is a belly band. This portfolio is going to hold four, four and a quarter by five and a half note cards that are mounted to cardstock. And then it will hold envelopes that are custom made for these cards. And you can see just how cute and simple this fun little portfolio is, but it's a great gift or it's a great craft fair item. Just something very simple to gift, to sell, or to keep. Who doesn't need something that they can write a quick little note or a happy birthday greeting or Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever the occasion, this little portfolio is easy to make and we're going to make it right now. So here is what we're going to need. I have two pieces of cardstock that measure three by five. I have two pieces of white cardstock that measure three and three quarters by five. I have two pieces of green mat that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece that measures three by 12 for the belly band, and I have a piece that measures eight and a half by 11 for the envelope. Then, so for the actual portfolio itself, I actually made it using a roll of wrapping paper. So I took a piece of my Dollar Tree poster board and mounted it to the wrapping paper, and then I cut it down to six and three quarters by 11. So you're actually able to get two portfolios from one piece of the poster board in that four pack set. So that is how I made this. I have several videos out there showing how to make your own custom paper. And I'll link one of those in the description box below for those of you who may not have seen it and you want to know the process for making your own custom paper using napkins, wrapping paper, whatever it is that you want to use. So it all starts with us doing the portfolio. So I am going to put the portfolio in my scoreboard on the 11 inch side, and I am going to score at five. Then I'm going to score at 10 and one eighth, and that's it. So now I can fold and burnish tell you guys that I have used this wrapping paper on several projects and when I fold it I have not experienced any cracking whatsoever. So now that we have it like this we're going to bring in our two pieces that measure three by five and place them right there at the bottom. But before I place them down I'm going to go ahead and take a sticker and place it right there so that when I lay down my mat, I don't have to worry about trying to tuck that sticker in underneath. So 
I am going to bring in my glue and I am going to place glue on the two short sides and then on one long side. Then I'm going to take this piece and just place it down at the bottom. Try to get it even. And then I can clean that up with my paper towel, make sure it's going to fold, and it is. And then on this side, I will repeat that process. I am going to take a little glue run my glue along the edge and now I can take this piece place it at the bottom and get it stuck as well And so now I have my two very simple little projects. I am going to come in on this side. I think I'm just going to take this wreath and just place it right there. And now we have our very sweet portfolio, but I do want to go ahead and add just some sticker activity to this to kind of add some cuteness to that piece. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and run the sticker all the way across instead of cutting it in half because it's not going to hurt. And then I'll cut it right here. And now I can take my spatula, come into that crease and just work my sticker in just like that, isn't that sweet? And so what I'm going to do right here is I am going to add just another sticker right there. And then I'm going to take this sticker and add it, but I don't want it to look like a tag. So I am just going to trim off the green. And now I can take this sticker and place it right there and we have a completed portfolio so now we need to make our cards and the card making is going to be very very simple we have two pieces of three and three quarters by five inch white mat I am going to use my tape runner and just run tape on those mats. Then I'll take my mats and I'm going to place them down on my four and a quarter by five and a half inch pieces. And now I have two pieces of nice little stationery that you can write any type of a greeting on. And then because I am making these for Christmas, I am just going to come in and use my little tags here at the top. The little flags, I like how they look on here. So I'm going to place those down. One right there. And then I'll place one right here. So now I have two cards to go in my sweet little portfolio, which is designed to hold four. So you can make two more and place them in and you can see just how awesome and how sweet that is starting to look. Now we need to make our envelope. So I have a piece that measures eight and a half by 11. This is going to be super duper easy. So, the, so on the 11 inch side, we score at three and three eighths. Then we rotate it to the opposite 11 inch side and score at three 
and 3 8 on the 11 inch side we score this at one and a quarter rotate it to the opposite eight inch side or eight and a half inch side i'm sorry and score at one and a quarter and that is it so all i'm going to do is fold and burnish my scores that will be the first thing that i do And then once you have your scores folded and burnished, we are going to come down to the corner pieces here and we are going to drag, we're going to go up to that score mark, drag down at a slight angle. Then we're going to go to this score mark that'll cut this way and we're going to cut in at a slight angle. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So we'll just slide straight over, go to that score mark, drag down at a slight angle and then go to that little score mark, drag down at a slight angle. And this is what you'll have. And when I put my paper in, I should have put my paper in so that my words are running this way, but you know, I'm not gonna stress over that. Y'all know how I am. I'm always gonna be upside down. So now that we have this piece here, this is the bottom. We're going to do the top. So we'll go up to the score mark and angle in lightly, just like we did at the bottom. But when we turn it to the side and we go to this score mark, we are going to do a very deep angle cut. And we'll do the same thing over here. So I'll go up to my score mark, angle in just a little bit. But when I get to this one, I'm going deep, guys. And this is what we have. So when you fold it up like that, you're going to have an envelope that looks like that. So all we need to do at this point is take some glue, place some glue right in there, and then we're going to place some glue right along these edges here. And now we can take this just get that glue worked in and we have a super duper envelope you can take some double-sided tape and place it across the top if you want or you can leave it as is and use a sticker to close that so I am going to take this one and I'm only going to make one but you can make four and I'm going to just put it in just like that now you want to make sure that when you're making these portfolios you fill it completely before you put on your belly band. And the reason for that is the more things you put in it, the thicker it gets. So if you were just to make the portfolio as is, you wouldn't have any of that thickness and you might need to adjust it. So make sure that you have all of your envelopes and cards inside first before you make your belly band. And the belly band is going to be very easy. We're going to take our three by 12 inch piece and we're going to score it at one. And then we're going to score it at seven eighths. So now I can take this, fold it. And then I'll take my glue Place my glue down, fold that in, and then I'll place glue on this side. Fold it in. And I'll use my big old spatula to make sure that I have my glue worked through. And now I can take my portfolio and if you want, you can have this piece on the outside. And I think I am going to put it on the outside. So I'm going to take my belly band and bring it from the back to the front. And all I'm doing when I fold it is I am not folding it so that it is snug, snug, tight. And I want just a little room 
left so that I can slide it on and off as I need it. I don't wanna make it so snug that I can't slide it on and off. So now that I have it on, I am just going to take a little bit of glue, place my glue right there, and now I'll put that down and I'm just going to hold it until it dries. You can use hot glue if you want. All right, so now that it's fairly dry, I am going to take this gift tag that I got at Hobby Lobby last season, and I think I might've paid nine cents for this whole pack because they were 90% off. And all I'm going to do is I am just going to run a little bit of twine through this so that I can have just a little bit of a bow. And I'm gonna tie myself a little itty bitty bow. So now I can take this and I am going to run my glue along the back and I can take it, place it down so that it's covering up where I join the two pieces together. And now we've got this sweet little belly band that we custom made for our project. So I am going to take my portfolio, slide it back on, and you can see that we have our second awesome but inexpensive to make card portfolio. It is super duper cute and so easy. So I am going to bring the other one back in so that y'all can see just how cute these are. And I'll open them. And not only are they super cute, but guys, they're so easy. And so economical and you will have so much fun making these you don't even have to put cards in it you can make tags you can make gift card holders whatever you want to make to put in these but I do hope that you will have some fun making these guys if you have liked this project and I hope that you have please hit the like button if you are not a subscriber to my channel I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.